Nah, baby. Really. What? He so, has something way better than hope. It's called delusional confidence. Talking Sometimes. about Trump? Yeah. Well, Trump just turned himself into the Atlanta DA's office or the Atlanta yeah. office, and his mugshot was released. And how about how do y'all zoom was, in on this? How do y'all feel about the picture? I first when I man when I first saw it, I was like, his his first day out is going to be crazy. It's going to have it's at the bottom. You pass it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to zoom in on his eyes. Look at his eyes. I'm about to, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I first saw, okay, so this is how I used to feel about Trump. Do they like merch. put pepper spray in your face before they take the nah, picture? Nah, that's just that's what seventy something, eighty scowl. years old looks that's like. Everybody scowl. in his camp who had the mugshot taken had a similar sinister look in their eyes. They too. did. It was incredible. Um, so do you remember when, like, of course, most people hate it. Well, not most people. I, that's that's a lie. It was a large majority of people that hated Trump, right? Yeah. So they would like most, when he first yeah. was running in presidency, and they would make like hate Trump merch. So I was always against hate Trump merch just because in my in my opinion, I'm like, yeah, I might not. I don't like Trump, but I'm not about to wear this thing on my shirt. Yeah. Like, that's that's what I that's how I always looked at it. Yeah. Like they would be like pig Trump, you know, what I'm saying orange man. But I'm like, yeah, you're nah. walking around with the niggas face on your shirt. I don't want to see him every day. You're you know, what I'm saying? Yeah, you're marketing. Nah. Yeah. So but I won't lie. This picture might be shirt or hoodie worthy. And not just this. Oh, it's gonna be on on a Supreme team. And, and not exactly. Trust. And not just this, but like the whole off his whole campaign that got arrested. All their mug shots is like a collage, maybe like him in the middle, and like a almost like a DEA board where they like tracing the crime type mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, yeah, that'd yeah. be fire. At the top with the uh, fire. yarn, yarn that around was, it. And I shit. might wear that. Yeah, though. that I might wear. That'd be crazy. That might. Yeah, this, this is gonna be impact. And just this put, is the first Rico time. On this, the back. Is the, this is the first Trump picture I saw. I said, "I might fuck with it." I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> if I see a fire Supreme joint, it's getting got. And you know he's looking mad not because he was arrested, but because. He's, taking time he's out of above thing. police officers. He's above this shit. I don't have like, time for this. You're, you're, he's me? supposed to be arrested by the DEA. Will he be the most Niggas famous president of all time? Yo, I was just I was he telling is. somebody this. Four five is the he's the most famous. He's I mean, the most right important. now, obviously, because he's the red hot shit. But I'm talking about in the history books, like our yeah. children's children. That picture's gonna be. Are they gonna be like, yo, he's this the first is the wildest thing to ever happen in our, the world? I think he's the first president that's ever been arrested. So yeah. Yes, for sure. We're yeah, gonna so. be yeah. We're gonna be asked about him. On how our lives was when he was in office, yeah. he's gonna be. Uh, I'm telling you, he's the most important thing to happen to America in a long time. I feel yeah. like he just exposed a lot about the presidency to begin with. He yeah, did. he did, he did. But this nigga is hilarious. So he had a fire ass mug shot. Ain't gonna lie, this shit's just this is a, this is Supreme Team merch. You know what I'm saying? Hoodie merch. What's fire about it? Like the way his hair swoops. Up. His hair is very look, golden. Look how that shit is floating on top. This it is like this like, is reeking of white privilege. Like it looks like he has a golden retriever lace front. Yeah. That shit is propped up there. Like it is floating mm -hmm. on top of his head. Yeah, that's those a golden locks. A Same like, with his eyebrows. This is this is like fucking white supremacy in its finest. Trump gets mm. suntans <laughs> and. If you were selling that shirt on your website, point. what would the name of the shirt be? Who is Rico? Nah, that doesn't work. Uh, Bro, it's Trump on a t-shirt. You could just call it Trump on a t-shirt. Yeah, you don't have to sell it too crazy. Honestly, I think the whole the whole pin board would go the hardest. That would go hard. The pin board should go hard. The pin board would go the hardest. I'm surprised nobody has used this face in like a meme. Oh, I'm sure there's memes. Like what face is this? Like Black Twitter was going Black Twitter was going crazy, bro. Like Black Twitter yeah. was going crazy. There was so many memes and stuff like that, but it was really just like a lot of it was just like people were just a lot of people. We can't believe this happened, bro. I was about to say, even you know the way saying? we're talking about it right now, like we're talking about it so lightly. I feel like if we didn't have social media, this would be a way bigger deal, yeah. even though it is pretty crazy. Like we're talking about a president that got arrested. Ex-president. Same thing. Former it's the president. same thing. Same thing. That's the that's once you hold office, you kind of yeah. always got a foot in the door. Bro, yeah. that's that's another thing. See, he was just at Tucker. He was just at Tucker Carlson's doing an interview instead of being at the Republican flexing. debate. He was there mm -hmm. flexing, and even when you uh, when you're ever you're a president, it's always Mr. President. Uh huh. It's always Mr. President. Even you when you're stop. not even when you're not current president, that's that's you immediately are uh, addressed as Mr. President in all walks of life. That's Mr. some. President. That's crazy, nigga. He's you know? gotten the rebrand too, right? He's not. His colors are off. He used to be a little bit more orange and yellow in the head. Yeah, but you know he's been he's been doing, 
Yeah, you know, he had he's an elder shots. Now, Yeah, he's always been old though. But yeah, this is just a this is the Tucker Carlson interview. Grab I think this is just a funny movie. part, just because it's just like he so the Tucker the Carlson time. interview. For those who don't know, definitely don't put this on the screen. No, um, because I haven't put anything on the screen outside okay, of okay. pictures. Pictures is all I did. Uh, because this interview is maybe like an hour, bro. It's funny. Everything Trump says is a one liner, bro. Yeah, the it's nigga amazing. Just, he be flowing, bro. Like it's just funny. So I think this is just like a funny part where he was. Cooking uh, Joe Biden, Hillary simultaneously, like double head shot. You know what I'm saying? Both them bitches. He didn't yeah. even prepare this. This is just riff. It's off the top. Yeah, it's always off the top. Hmm. Because crooked Joe Biden is so bad. He's the <laughs> worst president in the history of our country. I don't think he's going to make it to the gate, but you know, you never know. But he's a corrupt person, so corrupt that I took the name off Hillary. You know, I don't do two people at one time. I took the crooked Hillary and I made it. I retired the name. That was a good day for her. I bet she was very happy. <laughs> and I used it for Joe because it's crooked Joe. But Joe is really. But you don't think he's going to make it to November of 20? Well, I, I think he's worse uh, mentally than he is physically. And physically, he's not exactly uh, a triathlete. <laughs> or any kind of an athlete. You look at him, he can't walk to the helicopter. He, he walks. He can't lift his feet out of the grass. You know, it's only two inches at the White House, right? That's not a lot. But you watch him, and it looks like he's walking on toothpicks. So, and then you see him in the beach where he can't lift a chair. You know, those chairs are meant to be light, right? They're like two ounces. Yeah. You lift them up. <laughs> he can't lift the chair. He can't walk to the chair. And I, I don't know what they're doing with the beach. You know, this beach is seeming to play a big role, but they love pictures of him on the beach. I think he looks terrible on the beach. He looks terrible on the Skinny beach. Skinny legs. Well, he can't walk through the sand. You know, sand yeah. is not that easy to walk through. But when he walks through it, he can't walk through the sand. And there's somebody in there that thinks he looks fabulous at the beach. I think he looks horrible at the beach. Plus, the beach doesn't represent what a president's supposed to be doing. He's supposed to be working. You're supposed to be getting us out of that horrible, horrible war that we're very much involved in with Russia <laughs> yeah, and like, Ukraine. You could do that. You could do that very easily. Conscious. I believe you could do that. very. I, I don't believe he could do it because he's just incompetent. But that's a war that should end immediately, not because of yeah. one side or the other, because hundreds of thousands of people are being killed. <laughs> Can you imagine you're in an apartment house and bro. rockets are going into that building and blowing it up and knocking it down and... Who, who can, why, why should anything, why should anybody, human beings, these are human, whether they're Russian or Ukrainian or whatever they are, it's got to be stopped. And it can be he stopped very easily. It would have never started. <laughs> if I were president, it would have never started. <laughs> Yo. You with that shit. Yeah, for, if any of y'all want a good laugh, I know some people are like, some people are, like take politics so seriously that like, even talking about like this was a funny interview. Yeah. They're just disgusted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But if you want to see some some good roasting with the niggas just he flowing, flowing, flowing. Yeah. Go ahead, watch out there. Go or watch any that. Trump interview. Notice yeah, he didn't any say Trump. he's always been like this. about no legislations, no policies. <laughs> no. He just proceeded to talk shit and uh -huh. a few people caught strays. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Effortlessly too. Yeah, that's amazing. He said he's Joe looks disgusting. <laughs> Then the breath said, bro, he said he could barely walk. You know, the grass at the White House is only two inches. And, which know. is very, which is a very specific yeah. number. Yeah. Like two inches, nigga. It probably, it's probably like That's golf. A it's shit. probably like golf cart grass. Yeah. For sure. Turf. You know, like it's perfect every time. Yeah. Like, but yeah, that's some, that's some, that's a flex. That's, that's a crazy flex that's too. A flex. Just being able to say that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I'm more nimble. Yeah. It's, it's only two inches. I everybody like everybody see, knows this. I would have liked to see this nigga in high school. Who was who, the athlete? Who, who he was. No, how he just talked to niggas. So yeah, oh, that man. was one of the Pretty things sure that that was up. one of the things that black people black Twitter really went so incredibly crazy that like niggas love Trump. Like y'all can't act like y'all don't love Trump. Niggas love Trump because his mugshot, his sound bites, black Twitter can't get enough of. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's like they wouldn't vote for him, they hated him. I'm telling you, like, black people forgot they hated him when he sent them fucking stimulus checks out, bro. He's comedy, bro. They forgot. They Pure forgot gold. they they forgot yeah, they hated comedy. him. I, I don't think they forgot. I think they just got money and they still hate it, for sure. But then on top of that, you got to remember Trump was popping in hip hop before he was even a president. Man, movies, the only movies, first of all, I hate that. The only black people that care about that are the ignorant ones. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like well, nobody cares. Like, <laughs> like, cause like who really cared that Trump about was Trump? in 
like music videos, especially after the uh, you must, what's, what's it called? The I, starting people, five. I, I, back, it, it, it people care because he was a billionaire. Yeah, life. he was a businessman back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, people, yeah. People care because they wanted to be as rich as Trump. Yeah, you, like Even when you got rappers, the, it's kind of like the Meek Mill effect of what's going on to right now. Where he yeah. be with Michael Rubin right. and motherfucking um, right. Buddy right. Hopper. Right. Who's the nigga? Yeah. Who's the nigga that he be with? Michael Rubin. Robert Kraft. Oh, Robert Kraft. Kraft. That's Robert. who I was thinking yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Robert yeah, Kraft right. It's Michael the same Rubin. thing, but he just didn't have hip-hop appeal. Right, exactly, yeah. Trump was actually marketable because he would talk that shit like a nigga. Yeah, he would pull up to, to the locations. He'd go to WWE. He'd Hit pull up in a music Snoop. video. He would say lines in the music Shake video. Shake hands with Pimp and Ken. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, yeah everybody has like a story with him from pre-politics. Mm -hmm. And that, what I was thinking when I was watching this um, Tucker Carlson interview with him, I'm thinking, you know what? He probably was that nigga to go into business with because he was going to get money, and he was charismatic. Everybody knows him. Mm. But it's just like little shit that's like funny about this nigga. But this whole interview, funny as hell. He's cooking the shit out of Joe Biden the whole time. <laughs> it's just like... This is a person who... He's like somebody that hates... It's He almost... The way he picks on Joe Biden, it's almost like somebody who was bullied by somebody, but now that they're old and frail, they can't fight back, but you're more than capable of fighting back. It's like... <laughs> Nah. This is a Medea movie. He be having that type of energy with him where it's like, he literally can't do nothing to me. Uh -huh. So, like, I'm just going to bully him yes, every yeah, time yeah, yeah. somebody turns the mic on. I'm going to bully him. That's the energy he has for, like, these other politicians. Always and, on your neck. I'm going to roll his wheelchair to the tub and throw the toaster in there. Yeah, yeah bro. He loves or, that shit, bro. Yeah, and it's like, you know, he's probably been around Joe for a long time. So he's probably been known like Joe's a square. Like, this yeah. guy's the president. <laughs> he's really so, you know, facts, so it just, facts, it just further... <laughs> Yeah, 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 but just cooking these niggas like, like man, how this no thing? respect for them. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like oh, who we used to bully, Joe? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's why this shit is funny. I can't remember yeah. why I screen recorded this one. This is the shorter one. Yeah, it's a 37. I mean, we can skip it if you don't want. You to know, play you can go ahead and play it. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. It's got to be something funny. Every city, practically uh, all the Democrat-run cities, you know, Republican-run cities are doing very nicely because they arrest people when you have crimes. <laughs> And they don't go after political candidates because they think it's good. You know, I mean, it's like been amazing. My poll numbers are the highest I've ever had. Oh, he was talking about Fannie but, Willis. Because people understand. Well, so wait, so that, can I just ask you, that yes. gets back to my original question. So yeah, if the protest didn't yeah, work. So the, the reason I put that in there is because that was a shot to Fannie Willis. The yeah. reason he was even in Atlanta taking the mugshot picture. Mm -hmm. He's like, you know, you got these, uh, <laughs> these overrun Democratic cities. You know, they're out here fucking... Send him uh, fucking arrest records out for people like me. How dare these motherfuckers? That's what I mean. He yeah. thinks, well, he is above yeah. regular police. He's above, he's, yeah. Like he's the FBI not, needs to pull up and get me. It, bro, niggas in suits. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You got the same charges as Young Thug and Those one of the these same niggas. Thing. You can close oh, up. Okay, okay. Yeah. He yeah. got similar charges as Young Thug and what is What does father out say? On yeah, what did Young Thug father say? He, he had some a, bullshit. Yeah. He had, a, he had a poster saying, you know, my son and Donald Trump are one and the same. They should both be free. It's like, you goofy nigga. <laughs> Shut up. You I should have called. Yeah. Listen, let me. Oh, uh... uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't agree. <laughs> Young thugs should be free, but not because he's similar to Donald Trump. No, nah, but they got the same. <laughs> but it's showing that it's are above the law because we in here for similar crimes and he's free. Nah, not similar. Not similar. Hey, it's different. The Rico, right? You can put, you can call orders in when you're the president. You know, hey, drop this bomb, pull through. You know what I mean? I got the rental car, but uh, but you can't incite a riot when you're a rapper. No, when you're a rapper or a president, it's probably worse. Rappers incite riots all the time. Travis Scott. Uh, that happened once. That's just a great example. And rappers don't incite riots. People incite riots. No, it's always led by a soundtrack. You can't put you can't put that on the right. I don't know where you niggas are going with you this. You ain't never heard of Mosh Pits? Right <laughs> <laughs> that's something completely different. Mosh pits aren't violent. That's what the white man does. Mosh pits yeah, are I don't hockey. know where you're going either. Mosh pits and hockey are both violent. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't know. 